Welcome back. Continuing the news, time now for the biz review, business review. And it looks at the impact better access to financing can have on economic growth. Now, the issue was discussed at a seminar put on by the Jamaica Bankers Association. TBJ's Dash and Hendricks tells us more. Banks are gathering recently, talking the talk of growth and telling small businesses they are on their side in moving the economy along. Refreshing words to hear, and this time it was the private sector leading an initiative for the private sector. For the International Monetary Fund's resident representative, Dr. Constant Longkeng in Guana, this is all possible because the economy is now on a stronger footing after six years of the IMF. We've always long acknowledged at the IMF that access to finance is one of the major key impediments to growth in Jamaica. And we actually have a study, uh, which we did uh, in 2017, which shows that if credit constraints were to be relaxed in Jamaica, GDP could be 35% higher. And that's why the banks were here with uh, small businesses. They acknowledge that if the economy is to grow, small businesses have to grow. And so they call on small businesses to help facilitate that growth by developing trust in the financial sector. So we can't have somebody who we're trying to help. And as bankers, this happens all the time. You're trying to help somebody through the process and they're hiding some of the information. Mm -hmm. So today has to be the day to be the day when we stop hiding that information. And as you say in Jamaica, just level with you now, level with you now. Tell us exactly what is going on. Commerce Minister Audley Shaw, who was also in attendance, endorsed the call. It is time for you to get transparent and formal. <laughs> Write a business plan. Know your markets, know your opportunities, know your potential. Train your staff because the greatest asset you have in your business is a human asset. Train them to be productive. He also said he's pushing to broaden the means through which small businesses have access to credit. Bank loans for him are not the only avenue, and some may be too small for the junior market. So Mr. Shaw is proposing to create a new stock market for them. We must do other things, yes. I want to have discussed it with the Minister of Finance already. Maybe it's time now for another stock exchange. He blasted the attempts in the past to end the incentives under the junior market. One of the routes is low interest loan, another route is equity financing. The IMF resident representative tried to clear the air. The reason why we're not necessarily overwhelmed or you know, very enthusiastic as a general principle about tax incentives is that generally they don't level the playing field for all market, you know, for all participants in the economy. And sometimes incentives lead to misallocation of resources in many economies. And of course, there is always the price tag. He said though Jamaica has significantly reduced its debt from 147% of GDP to 96%, the debt remains high, but government borrowing less has made it possible for banks to look for new opportunities among small businesses. For the Business Review, I am Dashan Hendricks.